Hello and welcome back. Today is part two of my Vietnamese coffee making series. It is going to be making five classic hot coffee drinks using coffee made from the fin, which is the Vietnamese coffee filter. Stay tuned until the end of this video clip and before we continue, click that subscribe button. <laughs> What makes an authentic Vietnamese coffee? If you haven't yet seen the first part of this series, do check out the link above. And just as a recap, to make it authentic, you have to make use of the Vietnamese coffee maker called Fin. Now this comes in different sizes. It comes in extra small, four ounces, which is this one. And then it also comes in slightly larger, six ounces, eight ounces, 11 ounces, and also 16 ounces. For today's video clip, I'm going to use the small size, which is four ounces and the yield for this is normally about two ounces of filtered coffee now to make it authentic the second thing that you have to make sure that you use is to make use of the Vietnamese coffee typically Robusta and this is one of the more popular brands in Vietnam called Mr. Viet and this is what I'm going to use today and the proportion that uh, I'm going to use because this is hot coffee is to use only two tablespoons of this ground coffee if you're going to make iced coffee, you have to use a little bit more. So you use about three tablespoons of this ground coffee. And finally, if you're going to make it a milky coffee, then use the third important factor in making an authentic Vietnamese coffee is the sweetened condensed milk. And it must be the one from Vietnam. For today, I am going to make five classic hot coffee drinks, black coffee, latte, cappuccino, mocha and also caramel macchiato. In Vietnam, hot coffee are typically served in small cup sizes. And because I have a small cup size of thin here, I'm going to use 5.5 and 6 ounces. And because we are going to make cappuccino, mocha and caramel macchiato, I am going to use some milk foam. So whilst I'm talking here and whilst I'm going to brew my coffee using the filter uh, coffee from Finn, I am going to warm my milk. And to make my milk foam, I'm going to use my rechargeable electric milk frother here, which makes it easy for me to come up with a milk foam in no time. Now, because we are going to make six ounces cup here, and the yield using this fin is only about two ounces. I am going to show you a method which makes the taste a lot better, and that is double filter. So I am going to brew one full brew and then add more water to get more out of my coffee. Okay, so let's start by making our first drink, which is black coffee. So for this, I'm going to brew straight into my serving cup, the plate on top of the cup there, and then the brewing chamber on top. Two tablespoons of my Vietnamese coffee here. So one, two, shake it to level, and then use the press, press it firmly. I find that if you press it tightly, it makes the coffee brewing process slower and also the coffee a little bit stronger. Okay, so now I'm going to use hot water here. Now this is a little bit cooled down because the first step is to make sure that you do not burn your ground coffee. Okay, so we're going to start with about one ounce. This is just to let the coffee bloom. I am going to wait for about 20 seconds. So whilst waiting for my coffee to bloom, I'm going to once again boil my water to make sure that I get very hot water to fill my chamber and brew it after this. So now I'm sure that my hot water is again boiling hot. 20, 30 seconds passed and I'm now going to fill my chamber with hot water. So I'm just going to press the filter once again and now to fill the chamber with hot water, boiling hot water. Now it takes a little bit of time, I would say about um, three to five minutes for all the water to drop into my serving cup here. And you might think that by then the coffee will be cold. Well, that's not exactly the case because after brewing this and then I do a double brew, the coffee is still hot. So not to worry about that, okay? But if you have a cafe or a street cafe selling hot coffee using the thin filter, I would suggest that you have a few like what I have here. So you brew all at the same time, otherwise your queue might be too long. But then again, 
it's all worth it. Okay, so this is my first pour and I'm just going to give it a try and um, let you know how it tastes like, okay? This is pure uh, filter coffee from Finn. The taste is quite strong. I mean, some people do like it this strong and you might just wish to add a little bit of water and that's your hot coffee. But because I'm going to make it a double pour, so I'm going to, again, boil my water to make sure it's hot and then I'm going to fill the chamber again to the top with hot water. Boiling hot water, this is my second pour. And then we are going to wait for all my water to drip into my serving cup again and that's what I'm going to do for all of my five drinks today. Okay now I have my double pour coffee boot from the fin here and for black coffee all I have to do is to add salt. So this is seasoning it and that's really all I need to do to make this drink. Okay a little bit of salt there and then stir it and it's ready to serve. Next we're going to make hot latte. For a latte all I need to do is to add condensed milk. You can add one, two or three tablespoons of condensed milk. For this one I'm using two tablespoons or 30 ml of my sweetened condensed milk. Stir and it is looking absolutely gorgeous. As simple as that, this is your hot latte using filter coffee from Finn. Third drink, it is going to be hot cappuccino. And because it is cappuccino, I'm going to use my warm milk here and foam it. So this is my double filtered coffee. And to this, I'm going to add my sweetened condensed milk. Again, I'm using two tablespoons. The size of my cup is 5.5 ounces. Once again, I love the color of this. It looks dark and very appetizing, I must say. Top it up with milk foam. And then finish it off with sprinkles of cocoa powder and chocolate. And this is my hot cappuccino using Vietnamese coffee. Next, it is hot mocha. And because this is mocha, I am going to add cocoa powder. I'm going to use Hershey's cocoa powder here. You must use unsweetened one. You can use Milo or whatever is available to you. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of my cocoa powder. And then again, I'm going to add my sweetened condensed milk. Now because your coffee is still hot, the cocoa powder should be sold in the hot coffee. Wow. It looks absolutely appetizing. I'm going to add milk foam. Finish it off with sprinkles of cocoa powder on top. Hot mocha using Vietnamese coffee. And finally, it is hot caramel macchiato. This time, I'm going to add only one tablespoon or 15 ml of my sweetened condensed milk, stir, and then because this is caramel macchiato, I'm going to add my vanilla syrup. Okay, so just about two pumps or one tablespoon of my vanilla syrup. One, two, once again stir. I'm going to add my milk foam again finish it off with caramel sauce. Hot caramel macchiato using Vietnamese coffee. Okay, time for the moment of truth. My black coffee with salt seasoning. Mmm, that is quite smooth. I must say I like the taste of this one. It gives you a balance between the bitterness of that coffee. I don't forget that this is Robusta. Although I'm not a black coffee person, I think that I can drink it. It is mild. Adding the salt into this gives you that refreshing black coffee made from the Vietnamese coffee film. Next, my latte is not as hot as I'd like it to be, but then I had to make all the other four drinks. So by now, these are cold. 
Mm. That is again very mild. This is perfect for those that are upgrading from instant coffee, a definite upgrade. And now my cappuccino, looking good. That is also very good. Um, the difference is that it gives you that mouth feel because of the milk foam on top. And I like it. It's a strong, it's um, very appetizing because I love the size of this. It's not that big. Finally, my mocha looks really, really gorgeous. Mm, tastes good. Hot. I like the taste of that mocha and I love that it's hot. Finally, my caramel macchiato. Mm, perfect. Okay, so in summary, I like all of them and the fact that they come in small sizes make them appetizing. I love coffee in small sizes, but if you'd like them to be slightly bigger, say 12 ounces cups, then I would suggest that you upgrade to a larger fan and then you can adjust the proportions of all the ingredients that I've put in here to make your larger cups of Vietnamese coffee. They all look good, they all absolutely taste so good, you should give this a try. So there you go, that's all I would like to share with you today. You can start a coffee business using Vietnamese coffee, absolutely perfect. It's not um, a lot of investment here. One thing is only about uh, less than five US dollars and then you can make these delicious drinks. If you have any questions about any of these recipes or any comments at all about the double pour, do let me know in the comment below. For me, the taste is just perfect, but I would suggest that um, you give your coffee a try because different coffee beans, different ground coffee, different brand would give you different taste. I like the taste of this one. The first time I poured, the taste of the coffee is bitter, so you could use that and just add a little bit of water or milk and you should also get a delicious tasting Vietnamese coffee. But this is the way I suggest that you do it. Give these a try and let me know how they go for you. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.